you might have been a graduate you might be a master degree holder you have not done any job till now you might have 3 to 5 years of experience you might have 15 years of experience for that matter you might have 20 years of experience you want to get into sap for that what you do in general you will check naukari.com you will check monster.com you always search for the word called sap then you lot of sap consultant positions pops up somebody says they want associate sap consultant somebody they say SAP consultant somebody will say they want senior SAP consultant somebody will say lead SAP consultant at the end of the day there are lot of positions on SAP consultant today we'll talk about what is an SAP consultant role what is that SAP consultant will do what kind of projects he will do what is the salary ranges for sap consultant and what are the companies that offer this job we'll quickly wrap it in a just a short period watch the video till end hello everybody this is mvk you are watching mvk career coach channel please subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon if you are not done now to know more about sap consultant first of all we need to know where this sap is used and why sap is used and how this sap is made available where sap is used If you see in the world you have various kind of companies let us take an example of chroma chroma is a typical retail company which will sell obviously electronic goods now they have lot of products right and when you go and check there without any erp all the departments are broken there is no integration between the departments sales guy will sell the product and the money which is sitting with the sales team may not be knowing to the finance team until otherwise the sales team will go and give them manually and update them manually same thing happens with other departments hr team may need to calculate the salary and if they want to pay the salary they need to go back to the finance team talk to them explain them there is a multiple discussions cross verification and finally finance team will release the payment so what happens is every transaction is done silo every department within the department the transactions are done silo there is no connection between accounts payable and accounts receivable somebody might have taken good amount of loan from you and at the same time you are selling them new products so there is no correlation there is no connection on the historical data or connection between the departments or the functions that is the reason usually what happens companies will go ahead and will implement erp enterprise resource planning it's simple this is something which will connects the various departments if you sell something immediately a notification or information will be passed on to the sap finance team sorry to the finance team if you use sap then it goes to the sap finance same applies from hr side if there is any absent automatically system will update that absenteeism absent whatever the day the resource were absent and when you are doing the payroll 
uh, that amount is get adjusted likewise this entire business transactions are been integrated through erp and sap is pioneer in that obviously it have 75% of market share so it is pioneer which is there in the market for more than 40 years now chroma decided based on the problems they have decided that they want to use sap as a product fair enough now there is an objective wherein the sap need to be made available for them who will made that who will makes that particular activity or who will do that they can't do it on themselves right chroma obviously will go and ask some other vendor tcs wipro accenture ibm any such companies may get into the picture and they will say that yes we will do that one of the companies will finalized based on the commercials and the company will come and do the sap implementation for them i am using the word sap implementation there is a separate video on sap implementation please go through that so that you will get the details how sap implementation happens and what is sap implementation but to be very short sap implementation is nothing but making sap product available for usage to the end customer is nothing but sap implementation now here for chroma accenture let's assume that accenture is the vendor who won the project and they want to deploy this particular product sap product for chroma accenture if they want to do it they can't do it just like that right they can't the ceo and cfo kana from accenture will not come and do it obviously the employees from accenture will come and do it who will come and do it obviously within accenture if you go and see there there will be an sap practice that might be headed by somebody a senior guy who will be usually he might be called as competency head or practice head or sometimes he will be called as business head whatever may be the role under him there will be various consultants sitting are working there will be an sap finance consultant maybe a, a 50 100 sap finance consultants will be there a 50 or 100 or 1000 sap mm consultants will be there sap sd consultants will be there sap pp consultant will be there likewise various sap consultants will be there under particular practice what this guy will do whenever the project has been won by them the next step is he will identify one senior guy as a project manager and he will pick okay one sap fic or two sap fic resources one mm consultant one sd consultant one pp consultant likewise he will pick all the resources and they will make a team this team along with the project manager will go and work with chroma and this is the team who will implement sap for them now i given a lot of modules names here pp sd fico there are various videos which i made on each module please check them so that you will know what is the role of that particular individual function I will not be touching that here in this area. Now, this team has formed. This entire team will go and sit at the Chroma office and they will implement. There is a set of steps to be followed and they will do that. You as an SAP consultant will be doing this particular role. You will be implementing. You will understand what is that they are looking for. You will check that in SAP. You will punch that in SAP. You will make sure this entire processes are made available in SAP system. You will train them and finally you will even move the, their data to the SAP system and you will make the product available for them. So everybody are contributing in this particular area. This is the primary role of a 
consultant of course you will be doing the transactions or business processes which are related to your area of course like if you within the function if you joined as sap finance consultant initially with your lower experience if you are joined as a trainee you will be given as a trainee sap finance consultant then associate then consultant then senior consultant then you will become lead consultant then after that you will become project manager so you have or you can become a solution architect that depends on the way you choose so you will be joining in one of these roles based on your experience so this is what as an sap consultant will do this is one area that is implementation let us assume that you joined as an sap finance consultant in accenture now you are doing the implementation you have done that right in sap it means that you will have only implementations that means you will be doing only implementation no there are few more types of projects also as an sap consultant will do let us assume that you went join there and completed chroma project in 8 months you came out now you are available there is another company called reliance digital wherein sap implemented 4 years back now there are lot of issues on the product probably their reporting requirements are not up to the mark or they have procured new companies there might be some changes happen they want somebody to help them you will call it as a maintenance right in in hardware generally you you will buy a product then one year two years you will have maintenance right when there is a repair you will go and do it right similarly in the services that is nothing but annual maintenance services or support services usually this companies will pick that particular support services you might be move to that one of the support project which will go for maybe mean it will go for a longer period can be one year two year you will be allocated to that particular project so you will be working on that particular environment and you will be fixing any issues when arise this is the second category of job which you will do it now third one is you have something called upgrades there may be some kind of older version they might be using and you want to customer want to go to the newer version you might be part of that see i have not giving very much detail support what is support what is upgrade what is implementation i am giving very high level there are separate videos available how does implementation happens how does support happens how does upgrade happens please check those videos kindly check in my subscribe list you will get them so these are the activities what as an sap consultant will do what kind of projects he will do this is all about his role and responsibilities now in terms of salaries i given multiple videos on this but i will just give a very quick pointer here you will get as a as a beginner as a trainee you may get somewhere 3 lakhs and it will go all the way to maybe even 80 lakhs one cr also based on your experience i am talking about one per annum so these are the activities you will do as an sap consultant all the best if you are looking for this role give 100% and get trained properly so that you will be getting a greater opportunity and you will have greater career in sap thank you very much for watching this video signing off mvk